Good morning, everyone. I'm Corinne Braxton, and I'm here for a live Facebook Live with you. I'm going to check my computer now to see that we are streaming. And I hope you all just keep commenting when you find the spot. There we go. I can see myself. Now we'll see if anyone else can find us. It does take three or four or five minutes sometimes, and you have to keep refreshing your screen in order to find things. Um, that's just the way that Facebook works. So we'll just talk for a second. Today is October 26th. I don't know how the month has flown by so quickly. Let me just check here to see if we get uh, comments. Okay. Um, anyway, we had a good weekend. I had a stamp camp at my house, and we made a lot of peppermint and gingerbread themed cards, boxes, bags, all kinds of things. We, uh, My ladies left with a lot of products, wonderful products to make probably 50 more, more cards and products. Hey, Martina, good to see you way out there on the uh, West Coast in Oregon. How's weather there today? It is... Uh, it was raining during the night and it was very dark this morning and I opened up all of the blinds in preparation for Facebook Live to let the light in because it was so dark outside. And literally five minutes before I started the Facebook Live, the sun came out and then it just fills the room and it makes shadows. So I had to get my little stool because I'm not tall enough to reach the the blinds to adjust them, so I had to get my stool several times uh, and to keep it out there to adjust so the sun's not shining right on my video. Anyway, um, we are, today is October 26th, and oh my goodness, we only have less than two months. Hey, Carla, in Wisconsin, how's everything there? And um, so we only have a little bit less than two months to get a lot of things done. And I was just working on, as I was waiting to do this 10 o'clock uh, mountain time, I was working on my November calendar and November is really a short month. And we have very few weeks in December before Christmas too. So uh, these next couple months will go fast. So hope you have your Halloween cards all and projects, goodies made. I have my little treat containers for my grandchildren. We don't usually have too many trick-or-treaters here, but we have a few. So anyway, I always have plenty of candy. And then that's sort of a problem because Terry and I eat it. Excuse me. Okay, we have a lot to do today. So I'm going to turn the camera down and I'm sure other people will be joining in. Close your eyes for a second. Comment, girls, just send thumbs up, hearts, anything to get. That helps. The more you comment, the more Facebook realizes that they can, I don't know. Hey, Jan Kaufman, good to see you this morning. Um, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the hearts. Here we go. Down, there we go. And these were some boxes we did. This is just to help me line things up for the day. Keep sending thumbs up and boxes, or not boxes, hearts. Comments, keep commenting. Tell us how the weather is, where you're living, in what state. These are some boxes we did this weekend. Um, and then we did cards inside. We did, oh, we did a whole, these are making memories and more cards that we did in the afternoon. They're very, very simple. But um, they're just as fun as can be. Um, in the morning, we did harder cards in a bay window fold. But now, on to today. We are really, this is really, really fun. I'm I'm telling you, I just loved doing this. And I'm, I have made, I had an interruption there at a phone call. I thought I had it on Do Not Disturb. But anyway, um, so get your phones ready to take screenshots, and we are going to make some cards. We're going to probably make four cards, I'm thinking. This is one. I'm going to get a... There we go. You can see the light now. I didn't have, don't have it quite adjusted right. It's just a regular easy card, but this part is cut off. This is the peaceful place, um, and we'll start with this one. And the designer paper is going to do the work for you. I can see that sun is going to be just in the way the whole time, but um, that's just the way it works today. And um, we are using, all of the greetings that we're using today are from this set called Christmas to Remember. Oh my goodness, this is a wonderful, wonderful set. 
It's called a mega set. Mega means it has two sets of stamps in it. And so it's Christmas to remember. And with and then we have so Christmas to remember and all these dies. And then oh Chris seek and then we have this one. No, this is the one that goes with Christmas to remember. I don't know. They're all four go together. Anyway, so we're using all of these greetings for all of the cards, no matter what design they are. I love this um, this one, this this one called Seasonal Labels. I love it so much. It's so useful, and I have two sets of it because it's very, I use it in a lot of classes. Um, it has all of these pieces. You can see it has some big labels. I really hope that they'll carry this over into our spring catalog. It's a great set, and I really have used it a lot. I'm using it a lot today. I think it's a must-have. Um, I actually got this set, this whole set, this mega set, from my trip, my incentive trip when I went to Hawaii with Stamping Up. So here we go. This is what we do. We bring in... Gonna just, we're going to use all kinds of different designer paper today. So I'm going to set my card over there so it doesn't get ink on it. And I'm going to just bring in a, just a basic five and a half by eight and a half. And what I'm going to do is I just open it up and I cu cut off. I first, oh, hey, Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin, how you doing? Um, cut off an inch. Just, I love this method. You just, you have a little scrap, put, push that aside, and then you have, so you're just cutting off one inch. And that's going to give you a little design right there. Now let me get my silicone mat out and we'll get our pieces. So what you do is we're going to, I actually first saw this, um, Karen Titus and her husband, Tim, in Minnesota. She does a lot of um, things where you can make a lot of simple cards. Anyway, um, everything is going to be cut by five and a fourth. So this is a piece. We're going to have a little piece of white. And then we're going to have, oh, here's my, here are my directions. They fell off for the, the, the base card. And then we're going to have a little piece that's going to be in there. And that is one and a half by five and a fourth. And that's two and a half by five and a fourth. You can get a lot of mileage from your um, designer paper. You can just cut and cut. And I'm going to show you that a little bit too. But let's just put this one together. So I'm going to get my um, adhesive out. Okay. And... There we go. We'll just take these off as I glue them down. The one and a half, I, you, may, you could make it one, but uh, one and a half covers up just a little bit more. It's just a little bit nicer, I think. Oop, I don't want that. I don't want it to the top. Oh, dear. I think I sort of tore the paper. I'm going to just turn it around this way so I can see it a little better. I'm way up in the air here. and um, edge looks a little rough. Anytime you have a rough edge, you can just smooth it down with your bone folder like that. Okay, and there we have, um, I'm just going to take my eraser. And then we have, that's the basis of our card. We're going to stamp in here. And the then we're going to use a three and a, three and a fourth or three by four is a fab is the perfect size in st stamping and scrapbooking. You just get a uh, you get a lot for your money out of out of that size, and then you can use your cardstock to make it just slightly bigger, three and a fourth by four and a quarter. So that's that's what I've done. Now, if we made this piece, we could, but then we would really waste a lot of paper um, because you should be able to get I think twelve pieces of of mats out of one sheet of designer paper like this. And there we have that. Okay, we are almost done. Now we're gonna put this on, we're gonna overlap it so that um, we have sort of an equal margin over here and here. And so now I'm going to just turn that over and I'm going to put a couple rows of adhesive on. I like to keep it lined up on my grid paper nicely. 
I love this gray. This is from the Peaceful uh, Place and Peaceful Cabin. I love this. Um, just think it's such a pretty design. I love those cabins in the snow. And we can give it a little wink of Stella on the snow like this. Just, um, I don't know if you can see that or not. But we'll just put it on the trees a little bit. Just a little bit on those trees. A little on the snow. These trees down here, like that. And one more roof, and there we go. Now, I'm going to bring in one of these little tiny labels, like this, and I'm going to stamp on it. And so we're going to stamp Tis the Season, or we could stamp, let's see what's what I have here. Um, I have Tis the Season and Magic is in the Air. Hmm, I could do Magic, isn't it? I think I, I really love the way this is sort of black and filled in. I, I like that a lot. Um, and then we'll do the inside with that one. This is all from that. Um, stamp stuff that I showed you. So I'm going to open up my basic gray and I'm going to stamp this up. Looks like I've got some glitter or something on that. And I'm just going to pull this a little bit closer to me so I can see it without getting my head. I'm going to lean down a little bit and it's a very, now obviously you might want to, oh that one's not very good. I think I'll turn it over. And um, because I can't get my head over it like I normally would. That's you, it's so funny because when you watch videos, people say that all the time. You could, I could, and my, my hair would be in the camera. So we're going to bring it down again. Let's see. Oh, still, I'm going to bring in one more. <laughs> so this is what happens. Maybe I'll just put it down here and there we go. That, not, that time I put my head right over it and it worked just fine. And there it is. Um, okay, and then we'll do the inside. Like that. And I like this one. Friends like you make the season special. And we'll put that one right at the top like that. Isn't that nice? And give it those a little clean with my chamois. And I'll close up my ink. And we'll, then we'll put our so that I'm still in the camera okay. There we go, yeah. And we'll pop this up with some dimensionals. And I'll bring in my dimensionals. There we go. And peel off these little, uh, you know, I am so pleased with this take your pick tool, you know, these ends, this, the little putty in that all in screws and you can put it different. You can put the brush in there. You can, you can get refills for this. And this is the piercing and I almost always leave it. This is the spatula in, but, um, I love this tool and I think it's like $10 in the catalog, but I love it to pick off. I put my finger down really close in an angle and just pull those off. And then I have a little waste basket right here and I just pop those into it. And, um, uh, that's just my preference. Now, I don't want to cover up the house, and so I think what we'll do, and I, this, do you see the little fox right there? The little cute little fox, um, just like in the stamp. I think we can do this. This may be, Well, maybe we'll put it right here. We'll put it on this. We'll cover up that little fence. There we go. And now we just need some diamonds. <laughs> Not diamonds, rhinestones. And I guess it's plastic right there. It's always getting in the way, so we'll take it out. Here's my take your pick tool, and I'm going to just get a couple of tiny. It's a tiny, it's a small sentiment, and I'm just going to wipe them like that, swipe, and then I just pop them on, and that is finished. Look at that. That card was fast, wasn't it? Of course, I have those pieces cut, but, and here's the other one, just like it. Here, you can see I put the I put it down here because I wanted to keep that cabin intact and I just think it has a nice look to it. So that's the first card. Let's set, set that aside and now we'll do the next one. We're going to, good thing I had a couple extra labels, don't you think? Um, okay, let's see, we're going to set those over here. 
and bring in my next basket. We're going to be using the Painted Christmas. Oh, this is a wonderful, this is some of the prettiest paper. Um, love this, and you're gonna see it here. I made a really, I, this week I have a um, gift card class, and I used one of these for the gift cards. It's really pretty. And um, and the gift card class is in person and to go, kits to go, um, because some people still aren't real comfortable about being out. And it's called Painted Christmas. And we're gonna use some red ink, and I'm going to show you the cards that I made with this, and it didn't take very long. This one, tis the season, the same stamp we just used. Here's another one with that. Here's someone with the greens. I'm, I'm not as wild about these. Um, this one I don't this one I don't really like. It needs more. But I like that one with the pine cones and everything too. So anyway, so we're gonna make another one. It won't be the same as this, but it'll be using the same papers. And then you can see it just opens up. Um, I will show you this one, however, because this one is green. This one has the evergreen. And then I had to add a piece of white on the inside. When you're using a white base, you don't, but it, I think it's very pretty with the color too. So we're gonna set those aside and uh, bring in my little basket. And we've got gems here. We've got lots of things in this basket. Um, excuse me for a second there. Okay, this is the card we're going to make little supplies and this one I covered the envelope last week I did it upside down um let's see what's here this one I already cut off an inch one inch it was five and a half by eight and a half and then I cut off one inch and then we're going to bring in our designer paper now you might have to help me with some of these too well, I think maybe not this one so much. We've got our, our designer paper that's going to go like this. And these are the measurements. Again, the same as before. Two and a half. It's very easy by one and a half. So we'll put those on. My fingernails are quite short. They keep breaking. It's getting cold here. And we have heat on. So then my, my skin gets very dry. To, in Montana, you have to use a lot of lotion. Um, so this is a herringbone um, designer paper with pine cones on the back. Okay, this is going to go on our inside. I want to make sure my chevrons are the, going the same way, and now they are. There we go. And there is our card again. Now let's bring in our our three and three fourths by four and a fourth and this is my three by four piece three by four i'll just put those there for a second i think that's good again when you use those measurements you get a lot more from your paper so okay now i'm just going to um Oh, great, Carla. So what you can do simply with that one, that designer paper, yes. I love this designer paper. This was a gift from Stamping Up, and I actually, and when we were in Hawaii, this mega set, and I didn't really appreciate it. Um, I do now. I, I love it. It's one of my very favorites in the catalog. So there we have that. And I think this is just a pretty, I love these. This is pear pizzazz and evergreen and real red. It's just a really pretty, pretty look. So we'll put that, let's see, let's put the berries this way so they're, no, I think we'll put it this way. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay, again, I'm going to just put adhesive, about three rows of adhesive just on one side, turn it over, get it lined up, and we'll see just like that. And then we have this on the inside. Um, okay, now we have to decide. What we're going to do, oh, I actually, let's see what's here. Um, let's see. 
think we'll bring in some of my little, uh, let me find these. If I can. My little labels. I've got a whole plastic box of labels. I've got some red ones and some white ones and different sizes and shapes. And it's all from the same set. We're going to use this one, I think. And we'll use a red. Uh, let's see if I have a red one. That's We've got a red big one. I don't know about that. Let's see if I can find a red smaller one. But might not have that. I'm not sure. Oh, here's one. Here's one. This will be better. That's what I want to show you. Um, okay, and now we're going to do some stamping, and we're going to bring in our, we're going to have a holly jolly Christmas. We're going to use that. I'm going to set that right there. We don't, these are red rubber, so these are cling, so you don't need, um, you don't need to have your stamping, your, your piercing mat. Okay, let me get my ink. Where's my ink? Oh, there it is. Okay. It's way up there, and I'm going to slide this. I've got the label down as close so I can, okay, and I'm going to ink it up, one, two, three, tap, 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 and we'll just put this, you know, lots of times you would stamp and then cut it up with a, with a die cut, but when you're doing a video, you have to make be efficient, so have a holly jolly Christmas, we're going to put that over there, and then, um, let's see. Let's do, may this Christmas, may this be a Christmas to remember and cherish. We'll do that one. That looks like a fun one. There we go. And we'll get those nice and clean. And then, okay, close that up. These are really fast. And now what I'm going to do is we don't have a, one that's slightly bigger. We have, I think, six labels in that set. However, what we're going to do, I'm going to move this over here. And I'm just going to just slice this in half with my Tim Holtz scissors. I'm just going to put it like that. Slice it in half. I don't like to use my little stamp, my good scissors, any of them for... Um, for paper, like my little my little snips, I like these are better for ribbon or or for finer things. Um, and now I'm just going to put some adhesive on the ends like this, and then I'm going to just sort of give it a little bit of an edge like that. You could do the top over there. Same thing here. Now I'm going to just uh, let me see what's here. There we go. Okay, and there we have, and that's what it looks like on the back. There's just a little bit in there, and I can put a dimensional on it. I can just um, put one of my big pieces that I've cut up from the... So what, what, before I cut those pieces, they this is the sheet that it looks like, just like that. And then I just take the big scissors, and I just start cutting like that. I just cut and cut. And then I just put, I have a little dish in front of me and I just cut them up into different sizes, some bigger and small. But this is really great because you can just use, like here I'm using one and I can just peel it off very quickly. And it holds really well. And there's my card. Now you could obviously, you could, you could make this fancier. You could put greenery coming out and all that. Um, but that was not the purpose of today's lesson. So let's see once now, what should we do for um, let's see, what's where, what did I do with my other cards here? Let's see, we did, the, um, we put some little rinds. So here I've done the same thing with this label, cut it apart and put it by that. Here are you some greens. This is a holiday. Um, this is from the, uh, what is this called? I don't know what those are called. You know, the gene, I don't know if they're genial gems or Wonderful gems. They were in the catalog last year, and they're in the catalog this year. Um, and I really like them. They have the clear ones with gold, and then they have the red ones. So let's see once. We've got, um, we don't have a lot of space over here, but we do have a little tiny bit. So um, I think we'll use a small one, and we'll just slide it off, put it on there, and put it on there. And that card is finished and we've just been going about um, 15 minutes and we have that card just like that okay and here is the matching envelope isn't that pretty pretty card and uh, 
Let's do another one real fast and with this uh, similar paper. This time we'll do one with a uh, evergreen. Not evergreen, this is spruce. Spruce, spruce, spruce. And uh, it is five and a half by eight and a half. Again, I'm gonna come in with my trimmer, trim off one inch like that. Push that aside. And here we have that. Now, let's see what's here. We've got, we're gonna have this piece. This was um, two and a half. It's the same as the, the layers. So two and a half by five and a half, and that's the same thing as, as that, as the, as the white. So we're gonna put that white inside like that. And pretty close to the edge, we're gonna have a, okay. And then we have these pieces um, that I cut. This is two and a half by five and a fourth, the same as we've been doing. And that one's one and a half. And you could, we could do this. So it would look like that. Or we could do this. And I think we will do that. Don't you think that looks good? Is that Would that be your preference too? So again, we'll put these. We're going to add these on. Let's see what's here. I have, I've not been looking for comments here. It's hard to... Oh, there. Hi, Elisa. Good to see you, too. You know you're in California watching. Hope uh, your family is doing well out there. Um, and we keep your, them and your sister's son in, in our prayers, for sure. Okay, we're going to put this one down like this. And we're going to lay that right there. Now we've got a couple choices here, and I want you to I want you to chime in, help me with these. So you're gonna have to be sort of fast. Do you think we should do a, a a green, the spruce like that, or should we do red? And then we would have to choose. We could do we could do it like this, or we could do it. No, I don't like the pine cones at all, so we'll put that there. Um, we could do this. Like that. What do you think? This one? or the red, which would you choose? Which one would you choose, girls? So let's let's see what's, oh, uh, Martina, you said green, and uh, Lisa said spruce, so we'll do green. We'll do the spruce one. Okay, that gives it a little contrast. Um, oh yes, Carla said you could, you know, you could, I could have, um, that would, that's a good comment, Carla. Um, let's see what's here, my little book of things. Um, so instead of putting this right there, I could have, that would have been nice. Yes, that would have been real nice to do it like this. Yeah, that would have been a good one. But it's already glued down, so we're it's too late for that. So we're just going to do it this way. And um, I'm just, you know, giving you lots of different combinations. So now we have all spruce, and this one's probably not my favorite, but it's not, you know, not too bad. And, uh, but I wanted to show you one that had the white on the inside. So I'm gonna put that down, open it up, and now we have to stamp. And I just happened to have a, let's see what I have here. I have a extra Holly Jolly Christmas and I have a big mat, red mat like that. I don't really, that's too big. Let's see what else, if I can find more. Let's see, here once, let's see what we have. Um, Tis the season, I have that one already stamped. That's way too big, Tis the season, that would work. I've um, got one of these shapes. Um, there's this, no, that's... <coughs> let's see, let's, here's a... <coughs> I have the wrong color green. Well, here. <coughs> <coughs> oh, that one's garden green. That's also in that set, but that's not going to work. So I think we'll just, um, let's see. Maybe what we'll do is stamp that tis the season in um, spruce. Let's do that. Let's um, put that with some spruce. Like there's a piece of spruce. And I'm just going to look through my little 
thing of containers and see what else I have for shapes and sizes. Um, got a really big one right there. Merry Christmas. That's too big, though, I think. So we will, I think we'll just, um, let me see once we'll, I don't have, it. I seem to have another, but it's hard to find these things. Oh, maybe we'll just do this one. We'll, oh, this, let's just do this. We'll just put this on. May this be a Christmas to remember. We'll just, then we won't even stamp it. Uh, but I think, I think it might be good if we put a little bit of green somehow on this. We could do it like that. Um... Or we could put it like this, just a little bit. We could flag the ends. I think maybe that's what I'll do. I'll bring my um, punch in. This is the tailored punch, and it really I like doing the the flagging the ends with it, like that. And so that gives you a nice end. And we'll do another one over there. And uh, I keep that one right on my table. So that when I'm working, I can use it. I can just pick it up. I, don't, I keep all my punches. Um, they're all, I have three drawers full and they're pull-up drawers. We'll do that just like that. And I'm going to put the green down first. And uh, the spruce is what it is. And um, anyway, so my punches are on the other side of the room. And But I like to keep this um, tag punch, the tailored tag. And we'll put that one on right there with some dimensionals. And I'll just grab one from my dish. Pop it on like that. And we've gone about 20 minutes now. We've made three cards, pretty much. I'm not sure I did have things cut. There we go. And uh, we this one definitely needs some jewels. I'm gonna pack up my little containers there. And let's see once here. I think we'll use the uh, this one is the uh, Holiday Rhinestones, and it has a lot of colors to it. Um, <clears throat> so it has that evergreen, that spruce. I keep saying evergreen, but it's really spruce. And I'm just going to take a, well, I don't have, I only have one big one, so we can't do that. That's not going to work. So we'll put one right there, and we'll do another medium one right up here. And there is that. All done with that card. And let me show you those now. This is all from that same set. <clears throat> so we have, let me just pack that one up out of the way. We have, this one is the Garden Green, Magic is in the Air. Let me see if I can zoom way out to line these up. Here is the Have a Holly Jolly. That's the one we did. Here's another one and another one. Look at here, are five cards with this paper. And this set, it's a wonderful sentiments, just wonderful. Really, really like it a lot. Um, <clears throat> so again, those, so this is the uh, Christmas to remember and season, Christmas season. These pine cones are beautiful and I've, I've not used them yet, but I've seen many other people use them and I want to do that this week. Um, I have cut, I love the dies, I've used them a ton. They, they, they die cut all these pine cones and leaves. The Christmas to Remember has, fits in all of these different labels. And then there's this huge um, set of pine cones and dies that that die cut, and they're very fine. They're, uh, but I'm not positive how to use them all yet. But I did die cut some just to see how it worked, and it worked really well. Okay, we have one more card to make. I'm going to set that aside <clears throat> and bring in the next one. And that is with our Eden's Garden. Oh my goodness. This is something that we demonstrators can pre-order uh, right now. And next week from uh, Monday, November 1st, is when... No, I'm sorry. November 2nd, next Tuesday. A week from today is when all customers can order it. And it is just quite beautiful. And this is what... Uh, the gems are called garden gems. Oh my goodness, they're very, very pretty. You can see the lights are streaming in the windows, even though I have them, the shades tilted, but they're very pretty. This is sort of a greenish hue to them, and this is more of a, oh, a, more of a turquoise color today so with those. I can't even, I can barely show you the paper because I've cut it up. I've used almost one whole pack. I've done quite a few cards. Um, 
I did this one last week for our team meeting was this card. And you, uh, this is probably my favorite paper, and I have very little of it left. It opens up like this. Sending hugs, my heart is tied to yours. Tug if you need something. Oh, thank you, Carla. Those are beautiful. They are beautiful, for sure. Okay, here is the paper. Here's the one that I, I, I had to piece together with scotch tape. This is all I have left of that pattern. Here's another one. I'll just spread them out like this, and you can see. There's one that's ombre. Beautiful, beautiful. And the other side, or that's what the ombre, it goes all the way down the paper from light to dark. That's the other side of it. Um, it has gold in it. It's a specialty paper. It's going to, it's a, a designer paper that in, is going to be available for as long as it lasts. And it will not carry over into the spring catalog. However, the stamp and the framelits or dies that will all carry over and you can see how pretty that's soft it's all soft succulent and they're more of the evergreen on this side but i just cut those into card that's just a regular four by five and a quarter that i can use on a card really easily and today we are going to make a card and um let's see once i'm going to show you okay I probably should have showed you this in the very beginning, but I didn't. But I have a piece of 12 by 12 designer paper. So the way you do this is you cut. I'm just going to put that piece. I've already cut it at five and a fourth. You do your five and a fourth first because then you can come around, turn it around, and I can do my two and a half, two and a half. Let's do another. We'll do a couple of them two cards then. There's another one. And then I need an inch and a half for that little piece that I cut off. There's the inch and a half. And there's the inch and a half. So now I have pieces for two more cards. I'll show you that. I'll take my trimmer out of the way. And then there we go. Um, so one card could be, oh, don't you just love that? One would be that. One would be like this could do that even um but those those would be our basics so that's how you do the cutting and you can just do a lot and of course that three by four that is the best thing to use up the paper um i'm going to set these aside and pull out our card let's see once here i'm going to bring up my pieces and i i cut i'm not even sure what we're going i think we're going to put it on the edge but isn't that pretty it's a wonderful set of dies and there's this one, look at that. Really like it a lot. Um, okay, let's pull our pieces here. We're gonna need, I need a label. Let me see, I did an envelope already. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do another envelope. Let me see, so here are my pieces. Put them in, I wasn't sure where I put them. I put them in a dish. Oh, there are some, there are some pieces that I was looking for before. Already put in a dish. I have a couple pieces that I stamped. We'll see how that goes and um, let me show you what the stamps look like. The stamp's called Eden's Garden, and it's a distinctive set. And then this is the die. They're Eden dies, and they, they make a big wreath, smaller wreath, and then all kinds of little greenery. It's a really pretty cool set. Um, and then on this box, you probably didn't notice this. I was just, I didn't have any idea what I was doing. This is our old olive to go along with that paper that we have the gingerbread. This is that same dye. And then I put the, I just punched out the little ginger, or the little peppermints. And then I put glaze, the little, the glaze that we have. It's called, um, this, mine's covered. It's the shimmery, shimmery crystal effects. I've got, mine's got dimensionals on it. But I, I keep that right in my toolkit because I use that a lot. Of course, once you put it on, it takes many hours to dry. And so you'll have to walk away from it because it will not dry very quickly, about four or five hours. Okay, let's get our things out for today. So I've got some pieces cut here. Here's my card. It's a dark card, so I need um, an inside that's white. So again, I'm going to cut off, I'm going to cut off my one inch, one inch cut off, put that right there. And 
I'm going to, I think I'm going to zoom you in a little bit now. There we go. And now we can put our designer paper on. I do want to use this three by four on here like this. So let's just do that and get it out of the way. Okay, very pretty, I think. I just love that neutral. Um, that ombre is just, there are two sheets of it. It's gorgeous. So that's going to go in the middle. We know that. Okay, and we know the white's going to go on the inside right there. So I'm just going to put that down. Uh, you should probably, obviously, I like to stamp first most of the time. But if we're not quite sure what we're doing, I'm going to put it down again so it's not in the way. And we could do it like this with the ombre. I think we'll use, there's the darker ombre, but I like the lighter one better like this. Oh, and um, I think I made this one just a tad bit too long. Let me see once I'm going to get my little trimmer in here. I must have did five and a half. I think I'll just tr trim it off right there. Um, Stamping up would bring that little trimmer back. They had that for a promotion one time. So we're going to do that. It's going to go like that. I think this is probably a better choice, don't you? What do you think? Hey, Jeannie Williams, glad to see you this morning, too. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, how do you like that? Or do you like, do you like that side better? Which one do you like? Which is your favorite? We're going to definitely do that one, so I'm going to put it down. And, whoop, and... Uh, Okay, let's see you once here. Um, I'm going to put it on like this. Girls, what do you think? This ombre or the pattern? I think we're going to just do that ombre. I'm going to get my adhesive off of that. And now I am going to turn this because just so that I can get this positioned. Better there like that. And let's see once. Let's see if we could we could put this on like this, or we could put it on like that. What do you think? I think um that would be neat, don't you think? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um I think we'll put it um we'll put it right underneath there. You're going to see it on this side, but or we could put it like there too. I don't know. Let's see, that is pretty like that too. Maybe we'll just, um, I think what I'll do is cut off a little bit more of this. And um, even though it's, you can just, this is just the liberty that I'm taking. I'm just gonna take off a quarter of an inch. And um, I've not done that ever before, but I think it'll be fine. And then I think we'll put this on like this and then it'll be just hanging over like that on the edge. Um, this is such a pretty piece, it, and it just fell right out, too. Um, I'm going to just put it on like one. I'm going to just make butt right up to that seam, and then I'm going to trim it. It would have been better if I had trimmed it first, but there, I think it'll be fine. And... Then we'll open it up like that. Isn't that, that's pretty neat. And it could even have something over that seam too. That would be sort of nice to, to add that. Okay, now we're, but that's not a problem because we're going to, um, we already have our piece like this. It's going to cover, oh, it's going to cover up an awful lot of that gold. Well, I hadn't thought about that. So we'll just put that like that. Or we could have put, um, we could have used that one too. What do you think? Do you, th do you like that one better? Looks good underneath, yes. Oh, I think underneath would have been better, but I, I put it on top, so <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girls, it, the, it's, it's sort of a delay. That's sort of a nice look, isn't it? Um, which do you think? Do you think this one or that one? Which, which one do you think? While you're, while you're trying to decide which of it's going to be the gold one or this ombre one, I think we'll do some stamping. And let's bring in um, my stamps. My, my ink pads are very, very juicy, so 
I don't know how this is all going to work. Um, we are going to take, well, I think I'll just probably show you something. I think we're, we'll use that one. And um, so this one or ombre, gold or ombre, you tell me, then I'll look, okay? And um, let's see what's here. Here's the little piece. I don't have a lot of extras, but... Um, Okay, I think what we'll do is I'm going to, I want to show you, these are all distinctive stamps and what, you can even see how distinctive, you can see the variations. Um, Carl, is it a person could make that top piece a little smaller so you could see a more of that? Yeah, and what are some of the other comments? Let's see once, gold, Martina said gold. I'm looking for a new pair, uh, gold. Do you think gold, maybe? Uh, I'm going to show you this. A few more comments, maybe. And uh, my my ink pads are very juicy. So um, what I want to do is push the ink. I want to push the ink toward the bottom. Because if, well, I'll show you what it would look like on a piece of white. I'll just stamp this first to show you how dark this would be. Because I just re-inked these a couple of days ago. Okay, so... There's my ink pad, and this is what it would look like. Do you see? Well, it's not too bad. Actually, I think it'll be all right. Um, but if you, when your ink pads are juicy, and I like mine to be juicy most of the time, but when you're using your distinctive, now I'm pushing all the ink down toward this end. So I'm just going to take my plastic spoon that I keep right here and push it down. And now that there's more ink down at the bottom, and I want to ink stamp up ink up that part and let's see what it looks like now do you see how much more distinctive that is than that one that one's just too heavy and that one's better so let's um i'll set that one aside and i'm going to do this now on this label so i know it's going to be cut off but i'm actually going to bring in a piece of scratch paper a little little bit of my because it, cause this is my new uh, a new pad, grid pad from uh, on stage that I got. And it's very pretty and clean. I don't want to get it messed up because we only get, got a few sheets. So I'm going to stamp that. And there it is. It's maybe a little dark yet. Let's try the other side. I'm going to stamp off this time. Okay, and there it is light. Well, I think we'll use that side. Um... Okay, and but you can see all the variations in color. And then, so what did you decide? Gold um, or make the second glue to the back of the first? Yes, I thought about that too, Martina. Good. Uh, gold, gold. So I think maybe we'll use the gold. Um, I can set this right up here. And instead of using that ombre, let me see if I can peel it off. I could just put it on the back, but I can peel it off. Could do that. Let's, because I, because that ombre is one of my favorites. We'll do that. Just, you can. This is pretty sticky, but it's it will still work. And um, we'll put this gold one on, and then. I know we're running a little late today, but I think it's just fine. We're showing, showing you a lot of different variations. Okay, and that one is goes, going to go on here like that. And again, we're going to just put some adhesive. I hope that you will make some of these and post them. So fun. Okay, and so that there we have that. And our inside, and I'm going to put this on like that. Now we could, let's see, do I have a, a green? And I wanna, what I want to do is put this on, on top. So I think we'll put that like this. I think that gold is a better choice. And then we'll put this one on. Isn't that pretty with that? And uh, we'll layer it like that, and I'm gonna just move that out of the way for a second. And then um, 
I think we'll ink up this little tiny one. I only have one left. I'm going to pull it close to me so I can, um, let's, we're going to, let's, this is going to be more like a birthday card. Let's celebrate everything. Now, I should have pushed the ink down, but I didn't need to because it's plenty dark here. Um, I also did the oval, the sending hugs. How are you, my friend? So now we'll put, we'll put, let's celebrate everything right there. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on this. You know, when you first get a pack of dimensionals, it's good to sort of crack them like that. They'll come off a lot easier. Bob, that's just a really good, easy tip. And, um, but I do always like that fresh, that fresh page of dimensionals. Get your, your stamp, your pick tool out. And there we have it. And we're going to put that right on here. Let's celebrate everything. I think this would be, and then we need a birthday sentiment for the inside. Um, I don't have a birthday. I don't have a birthday stamp right here, so I, I think I'll just leave it blank. But isn't that pretty? And let's add some jewels. Let's close up our ink pad. Um, that soft succulent, and um, put that aside and find our jewels. Let's see. Let's what did I? Oh, here they are. Here they are. And let's see what we want to use on here. Hmm. Let's try. I don't know. Let's see. We'll just try it. We'll put one like right there just because we can. It's got, we've got plenty of space. There we go, I think we'll just do it like that. And um, there we have another card. So we have made a lot of cards today. And then we, put, we can pair it with our envelope like this. Isn't that nice? Nice combination. Very pretty. So we didn't even, um, I love the sentiment. I like the dear friend. How are you? And then there's uh, sending hugs and tug if you need anything. Just a really, <coughs> a nice variety of stamps. So uh, there's my ombre, a little strip of that. So we can just set that aside for another card. Alrighty. I hope you'll make some of these and, um, I'm going to flip the camera back. There we go. And I'll tell you what, we with in about 50 minutes, we made a lot of cards. A lot of cards. I have sinus, one sinus cavity has just been like blocked for weeks. Um, anyway, just a fun technique. I hope you'll try it. And... Uh, I'll put some measurements down below too, because it's really, you know, all you have to remember is two and a half and one and a half and you cut off an inch. So um, thank you very much. It's, it is pretty paper and just, it's, it is, it's very fun. So demonstrators can pre-order that now. And I think that's a good thing to do. And then the, everyone in the public, all customers can get that next week on November 2nd called Eden's Garden. So uh, that's it for today. So, um, oh, Martina says she's on the craft, on the way to the craft room to make some. I bet you will. You'll have to post them. Thanks so much, girls. Appreciate it. Appreciate you following along today. Thanks. See you next week. Bye.